In his book, Healing and Recovery, the great late David Hawkins talks about one of the greatest ways to heal ourselves, whether it is a physical ailment you're suffering from or mental ailment. But let's focus more on the physical ailments because most of the the illness and the ailments that we are suffering from are self-made. And what I mean by self-made is like we are being created them to our own subconscious mind. The Buddha used to say that the mind is the forerunner of all things. David Hawkins wrote in his book that what we hold in our mind tends to manifest. And we can all understand, especially during our time right now, that a lot of what we are suffering from, be it diseases, ailments, stress, etc., is created through our own mind and our own lifestyle, and our own thoughts and our own belief system. And our belief system are generally speaking more amenable when we are younger. So obviously maybe now it would take longer to make you believe that you are allergic or susceptible or fragile when it comes to this particular disease and whatnot. But when you're younger, maybe you were watching TV or maybe your parents told you or your peers told you that this was risky and drinking this was risky and eating this was risky and if you do this, this will result, blah, 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 blah. Therefore, your mind, subconscious mind, was imprinted, impressed by a certain belief system that stayed with you over time. And that's why his method is so amazing because what he said, what he wrote, it is whenever you're feeling a sensation, this sensation, you don't want to give it a name. You don't want to put a label. A label that is not even created, that doesn't exist aside from the medical environment because those labels are all man-made. Those labels don't mean anything. Those just are just words. But the problem with labels, as soon as we have a sensation, and we label this sensation, the label we have is not only a word in our mind, it's also the symptoms that come along. So let's say you're suffering right now from an ailment. You don't know what it is, but you think, oh my God, this is that because I read this, I saw it on TV. And you go online after this, and not only you already have this in your mind, but you type it on Google. And so all those are all the other symptoms. And lo and behold, after you have read this, you tend to have those symptoms too. Why? Because your fear, your belief system has created this more of what you believe to be true in your body. So that's why we have to be very careful. There are some books that detail. I, have, I read a book about a couple of years ago that say, they pretty much detail how they brought um, depression, the depression in Japan to sell the medication against um, depression. I think this book is called How the Western World is Poisoning Us, or maybe not something as extreme as I just said. How the, oh yeah, something like along the line, like how the Western world is making us, making us all sick. And I'm not going to talk about our situation right now, COVID and whatnot. What I'm trying to say is that our subconscious mind uh, is very amenable. And David Hawking in his book, Healing and Recovery, say that you can see a pattern with media and the population when every time there's a new disease. Every time there's a new ailment and every time this new disease, new ailment is, I was about to say promoted, I don't want to get into trouble. Every time this new ailment uh, or this new disease is put forth in the media, is introduced in the media, you will see there will, have, there will be more cases of this particular ailment and this is why 
Because now, as soon as it's introduced in the media, people will think they have one or many of the symptoms of this particular ailment and disease and they will believe that they have the disease, therefore perpetuating this cycle, this vicious cycle and creating more of the symptoms in them, therefore creating more cases. You see how it works? It's a vicious cycle. So as soon as you believe and as soon as you put a label on it, you pretty much join the club, right? And that's how they created um, a demand for medication when it comes to depression in Japan. I strongly encourage people to read this book because it, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's very detailed and very factual. And also he gave another example. is like oftentimes celebrities would, would be talking about a disease they're having. And because those particular celebrities have a huge audience and followers, you will see that there are some and sometimes a lot of these uh, of those fans will also develop those same symptoms and the doctors will notice a pattern that as soon as this particular celebrity comes out with this particular disease some of their fans will follow suit so what i'm trying to say and i'm not trying to 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 say that there's a Kabbali and a conspiracy theory and stuff like this. I'm not, I'm just saying that the mind, subconscious mind more particularly, is very amenable to suggestion. Therefore, we have to be careful at all times, at any given moment, when we feed it. And back to the solution, back to the matter. When it comes to a physical ailment you are suffering from right now, what you want to do, as soon as you have this sensation, this sensation will be manifested somewhere in your body. Whatever it is in your body, it is important to not fight this sensation and not give way to negativity fear don't let any negativity don't allow it what you have to do is be with this sensation not label it be with this sensation and in another book he wrote david hawkins talk about letting go letting go surrendering means pretty much being okay with this thing of this living it's pretty much the same thing as meditation. You are with it. You are not against it. You are not for it. You treat it as a welcome friend. You close your eyes and you feel the sensation. You don't judge it. You don't label it. You don't try anything. You just be in the moment with it. You can even welcome it. You can even say, I love you. You can even show it kindness. That's a more Buddhist way of doing things. You can try this as well. It works really well. As I said in some of my other videos. But no matter what you do, don't label it, don't judge it, just be with it. And as soon as you don't label it and you don't judge it, you will see for what it is, just a sensation. And because you're not fighting it, because what you resist persists, it will fade on its own accord. And it might come back, but you do the same process again. But this is number one step of the process. You don't judge it. You don't label it. You just be with it. Or I would say one, two. You be with it and you don't label it. And it will fade slowly, gradually, progressively, very soon. Also, what you need to do, as soon as you don't label it, you cancel it. You say, this is just a sensation. This is the sensation. I am an infinite being and I'm not subject to those labels. This is just a sensation and by virtue of just being with it, of being accepting, even loving of it and not labeling it and canceling it and not canceling it by just virtue of not accepting any labels and just seeing it as a sensation, you're already canceling it. But what you can do, and this is what I would suggest you to do, you can even affirm, he, uh, David Hawkins wrote in his book, you can say things like, I'm an infinite being and I'm not subject to those labels, I cancel those labels. Things of the nature. This is the way he would do it. And this, more power to him. That's the way he would do it. I would go even a step further. You could, after letting it go, after not putting any label on it, and after canceling it, you can use affirmation like such as, I am healthy. I am whole. I am an infinite being. My body heals itself. My body is powerful. I am health. I am abundant. I am whole. I'm an infinite being. I'm repeating myself. Sorry. Oh, it is passing. It is passing. It is passing. As I said in my previous video uh, on um, 
the healing method of Emil Koe. It is passing, it is passing, I'm getting better. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better. So you can do this. The more important step is to not label it and to not fight it. Just by virtue of doing those two simple steps alone, you will get better. Why? Because you're not resisting it. You're not resisting it, therefore it's just something that will pass. We have to believe that our bodies can heal itself. Because as soon as you don't give it power, you don't even give any, this sensation any reason to stay. So you don't fight it. Your mind is stronger. So you don't hold anything towards the sensation. Your awareness is enough to acknowledge it is here, but not be attached to it. And by being attached, people think that, oh, we need to be happy about something. We need to love something to be attached to it. No. Attachment can even, if you fear it and you resist it, that's attachment too. So you detach very lovingly, very kindly, and you don't label it. And you'll see, it will come back and you do it this process again. But remember one thing, don't label it and don't fight it. Just let it be. It sounds counterintuitive, it sounds counterproductive, but it works. Just be with it. Do not accept the sensation. Yes, at the beginning it might get hard because you might feel the sensation and thoughts will come. Replace those thoughts. Whatever sensation you feel, whatever sensations you see, if you're bleeding, if you, are, you have pews, if you have all these kind of visual sights that are unpleasant, do not accept them. See them as what it is. If it's just bleeding, it's just blood. We tend to go directly to, oh my God, I'm bleeding. Oh my God, I have this symptom. Therefore, I have this. That's what I'm saying. Just keep it at just what you see, what you feel. Don't label this. Don't label the symptom because you will go down this rabbit hole of trying to see the symptoms, feel the symptoms, and try to label it as soon as possible. And even you, usually you will go further and go to Google and see the symptom, then after go to the doctor, and this is a vicious cycle because you pretty much join a club and adhering to the club for, forever. So stop at the beginning. When you catch it at the beginning, it doesn't have room to manifest and doesn't have room to grow. So by being kind, by being accepting, by embracing this sensation and seeing it as what it is, just a sensation, nothing else. If it's blood, it's blood. If it's pus, it's pus. If those symptoms are nothing more than things you see in your body, like anything else, it will pass. So I think that's enough. See it what it is and let it go. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. Just let it go. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube, and please give me a review if you're on the podcast. Thank you so much, and I'll see you very soon.